Close your eyes. Actually, don't close your eyes. I'll just make the screen boring. Think of a city, then say that city out loud. Now, do it again, but pay attention to when you become aware of your ideas and your decision. I'll do one. Um, New York. I don't know what you guys are like, but what happened for me was a couple cities occurred to me, then I picked one. But these cities just popped into my head. I didn't, like, will them into thought. Them popping into my head was almost the same as if someone else was saying them to me, and them popping into my head that way. I really don't know why I thought of these. Also, I know more than two cities. I've been to more than two cities. But only these two occurred to me. Jakarta never occurred to me. Toronto never occurred to me. In the moment, they simply weren't options. Couldn't have picked them even if I wanted to. Maybe I could have waited and kept thinking for more cities to pop into my head, but I'm not willingly choosing from all the cities that I know. I'm not choosing which options occur to me. Are we consciously choosing what we choose? What does it mean to author our actions and decisions if we don't control the options that occur to us? Okay, but maybe that doesn't matter. Surely I'm picking from the options that do occur to me. I picked New York. I think it's because I was at the mall earlier and I remember looking at a New York fries. Or maybe it's because it was the first one to occur to me. Or maybe it's the fact that it's one of the biggest cities near where I am. And it's in all the films. But if any of that was the reason, it's all outside of my control. I didn't choose for it to be the first one to occur to me any more than I chose for it to be in a movie. Okay, but I'm trying to reason afterwards. What if we do the reasoning first? I'll think of some more cities. And I'll think longer this time. Okay, I got a couple. Maybe pick Dublin. Nice accents there. Delhi. Always wanted to live in India for the food. New York. I already picked that one. Moscow. La 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 la. Ho 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 ho. Okay, let's stop here. These deliberations. I don't know where they came from either. The reasoning is just popping into my head like the cities did. Again, it's like a voice talking and I'm just listening. Now I have to try to come up with reasons for why I think Irish accents are pleasant. Or why that even matters when picking a city. Try and pay attention to your reasoning as they come up. Does it kind of feel like it's someone else talking? Like your conscious mind is just watching it happen? I'll just pick one. I'll pick Dublin. If I had to explain it, I would say because of the accent thing. But really, I don't know why Dublin initially arose in my head. I didn't choose my affinity for Irish accents. If I had been born Irish, I would probably find them ordinary. And I don't even know if this is the real reason why I picked the city. Maybe I needed to think longer for the real explanation to pop into my head. And if I pay close enough attention, the final decision is also just popping into my head. It's thinking and thinking and thinking. Okay, I'll go with Dublin. It's probably the best. So I didn't pick the original cities, I didn't pick the reasons, and the final choice seemed to just arise like instinct, or a gut reaction. It seems like some aspect of my brain did all this, but whatever conscious aspect of the brain just sort of watched it happen. Okay, but that was a very simple, basically random choice. It would make sense that the decision felt random as well. So let's say we're thinking of giving $100 to a charity that is very good at getting food to hungry families in our community. But we also really need a new toaster, ours is broken. Okay, some deliberations popping in, same as with the cities. Maybe some questions we want answered. Different here though, now we probably have emotions involved. Let's say these are some emotions we're feeling about each option. And we even have thoughts about which options will lead to what emotions. But suffice to say, we're not choosing our emotions. Again, the reasons and emotions are just arising in our consciousness. Another factor involved in a decision like this is our values. All this deliberation and emotion seems to be centered around the problem of which option would lead to a better outcome, based on our definitions and feelings of what a better outcome would be. Someone who valued giving and charity then was asked this question, they would probably have different reasons popping in. and come to a different decision than someone who is mostly concerned with themselves. For most people, our decisions will be more involved, more ambiguous. We often don't know what constitutes better or worse, and then what will lead to better or worse. These kinds of decisions have a lot more going on, but did we find any evidence for us picking our actions? We don't pick our emotions, we don't pick the ideas that occur to us, and the final decision was based on our values. Did we choose our values? Or are they based on DNA, like a psychopath generally only considering themselves incapable of empathy, and on the environment, like how those who grew up in abusive homes are more likely to react to situations with violence themselves? And do I have the values that I have because I grew up with certain parents within a certain community and made certain friends? Pay attention to your thoughts and intentions and the decisions you make throughout the day. What are the values that seem to guide your thoughts? We really seem to be able to weigh options and make important decisions, but is your conscious mind in control or is it just watching? 
Check out the links in the description for more videos about free will. Delta Hotel on Reddit made and moderates a subreddit for this channel. If you prefer the Reddit commenting system, I know I do, come join the conversation over there.